another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video, we're going to take VMware and we're going to connect it up to GNS3. So we're going to simulate that you have a router out there, and then you're going to connect a PC or maybe even a server to the router. And it's actually pretty easy. First, we've got GNS3. I'm going to get back my node types dock right there. I'm going to drag in a router. Can be pretty much any router. And then I'm going to drag in the cloud going to get rid of my node types sidebar right there. Right click on the cloud, go to configure, then click on C1. I've got a drop down near the top, I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click on VMware Network Adapter VMNet 1. Now your computer might have a different number, but usually it's going to be the first one, VMNet 1. I'm going to click on that. And don't forget to click add right here. And then click OK. One last thing to do, well, a couple, couple last things to do inside of GNS3. We're going to click on Add a Link up top. Click on R1, Fast00, zero, zero, and then click on the cloud, connect that up. And then fire up my router by clicking the green play button. And then I'm going to click Telnet, and that opens up my console window. And my router is, well, my virtual router is now booting up. Okay, so I'm going to go over to VMware, and I'm going to be using a Windows XP image right here. Very important thing that you need to do. By default, VMware is going to make the image use the NAT network adapter. So it's going to basically tunnel through your laptop or desktop and go out to the Internet. So your computer will act sort of like a Linksys router, and your virtual machine is basically going through there. Well, we don't want that. We're going to double click on the network adapter in the main VMware window here. And instead of NAT, we're going to go down to custom and then we're going to click the drop down and we're going to use VMNet 1 host only. You could have also done the same thing by clicking on the host only radio button right there. And what this will do is it will connect only to the VMNet 1 local area connection and it will not have an external or internet connection. It's just all virtual, all inside the same computer. We're going to start this up, power it on. And while that's powering on, I'm going to go over to my console window right here. Do some basic stuff. Enable ConfT hostname router1. Let's follow best practices, all caps. Go to the fast Ethernet interface, fast zero zero. Set an IP address, very simple one of all ones, and make it a slash 24. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to no shut, basically turn it on. All right, so my router is pretty much set. I'm going to go into my XP right here. Which I'm going to double click to make this pretty much full screen. So XP comes up, I am going to close out the stupid MSN Messenger. I'm going to right click on my network places. I need to set the IP address because my router is not giving out DHCP. You see I've got my local area connection. I'm going to double click that, go to properties. And basically I'm just going to change the IP address right here. Use the following IP address. One whoops, 1.1.1.2, 1 .1 .2, 255, 255, 255, and make my gateway all ones. Click all OK right there. It's going to take a couple seconds for that to stick. Looks like it's stuck right there. Also going to need to do one more thing. I'll probably need to turn off the firewall. That way my router can ping the PC. And my firewall is off. All right, so let's give this a test. I'm going to go over to my router. Mix it out of there. And let's see if I can ping my PC of 1.1.1.2. Control L to complete that line. So ping 1.1.1.2. Let's see if it works. And it works. So we go over to the computer. Let's open up the command window right here. CMD. 
And let's see if I can ping my router, ping 1.1.1.1. Hey, look at that. It seems to work. All right, so now we have a virtual PC connected to a virtual router. You could practice things like QoS, uh, pinging. You could set up a syslog server. That might be a next, uh, well, definitely will be another video. We would set up a syslog server inside of Windows XP. And then what we would do inside of our router, we would configure logging. So something like this, logging, question mark, and we would send the logs to 1.1.1.2, which would be pretty awesome. All right, so this was a quick and easy video of connecting a VMware virtual PC, specifically Windows XP, inside of GNS3 to a virtual router. Thanks for watching.